Gary, thanks so much for making time for this interview. Really appreciate it. Why has TUI been so actively engaged in the sustainability agenda over the years? Both TUI Travel and TUI AG have a very long history of, of sustainability and a commitment to sustainability. And we think that after the merger as TUI Group, we really want to continue um, that commitment and it's absolutely integral to our future. Um, I think as the, as, as the world's largest um, integrated travel group, our vision is to make travel experiences special and sustainability is absolutely at the core of that and clearly we can do that at scale given our size. And I think it's very important as the largest in the world that we are seen as the leaders and pioneers um, in order that others can follow. So I think that we have a responsibility to ensure that sustainability is absolutely actively within every part of our organisation, both for our colleagues but also within the wider industry. I've often asked what the business case is for responsible tourism, and you must be asked that as well, Gary. What's your answer to that? In terms of the business case, not only should sustainability be absolutely core to, to a modern, um, forward-focused organisation, but there's some very real advantages both, I think, from a cost perspective, from an efficiency perspective, and also from an engagement perspective. From a cost perspective, clearly there is a business case when it comes to energy, when it comes to water consumption. Um, from an engagement perspective, you know, we see that there is a much higher level of satisfaction within the hotels who embrace a sustainability agenda. We see a higher repeat level um, to those hotels as well from our customers. And we also see much, much higher satisfaction levels as well. Gary, you participated in a really excellent panel at the World Travel Market in 2014. Um, talking about destination partnerships and so successful we're coming back to it again. But reflecting on that discussion and your experience of, of partnerships with destinations, a big part of what you do as a job, how do you think, what do you think is the best way to develop destination partnerships between operators like yourself and the destinations? I mean, I, th I think it's not unique to just developing destinations, but, but in terms of developing relationships with hoteliers or developing relationship with any stakeholder, the, the most important part is clearly engagement. It's clearly understanding what the objectives of those partners are and how you can tie those in with your own objectives. Um, I mean, it was interesting that the, the recent UN study, I think, showed that only 34% um, of countries asked had a sustainability policy as integral to their tourism um, policy. And I don't think that's because that th th those who didn't don't want env environmental, you know, um, measures or a sustainability policy. I think it's that you know they, they need engagement, and and I see us as being the largest travel company uh, as having a responsibility to really exercise that engagement. And I think you know when we have those conversations with destinations, you know, and we show them that we can minimise them or we can work with them to minimise environmental impact, to respect their culture, and also to bring economic um, benefits to their communities, then that really starts to mean something. Because of course that's really addressing some of their long-term objectives that they have within tourism. So I think what's really important is in those conversations that we can demonstrate how we can help. Um, fulfill the objectives that these destinations have, that we can show them how we can work with the major stakeholders, whether that's excursion providers, whether it's hoteliers, whether it's local authorities, to ensure that they can also form part of a framework that also helps contribute towards those objectives, and then it gives them something to be really proud about. What would be useful for people in South Africa to hear is your reflection on how the market is changing. The, Euro the European, indeed the worldwide market, as TUI knows it. How do you see the trends over the next few years? Um, I think probably the biggest factor within the, the, the change of the, the long-haul market um, from Europe has been um, the technological advances within aircraft. And I think that you know the latest, the, the 787 Dreamliner, um, which we fly um, uh, as an organisation, has, has allowed for many more long-haul destinations to be offered to our customers than previously. Um, and interestingly, when that becomes part of the mainstream, the customer is very clear on what they're looking for in terms of um, a holiday to a long-haul destination. And, and one of the most important um, considerations they, they have is, is authenticity, is a sense of place. And I think that South Africa um, it is, is of great interest because as, as a destination it hasn't yet um, managed to capture that mass market 
within within Europe. And I think there's a lot of people clearly know a, a, or, or know of South Africa, um, know what South Africa has to offer and really want to engage within that. And I think it's very important to understand how we can attract those customers um, through communication, but also through the infrastructure and the tourism infrastructure. You know, what does the hotel offering need to look like? What is the infrastructure in terms of um, in terms of the wider offer it need to look like and how can we engage with the stakeholders within Europe in order to try to bring those customers there. Um, from the, the knowledge I have of South Africa, the great thing about it as a destination is it offers both um, the, 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 the safari market, it can offer the city market, it can offer the round trip market, it can offer the beach market. So there's a huge amount of authentic experiences that can be offered from South Africa's destination. And I think we need to understand how we can capture all of those, really engage with customers and engage with the large tour operators, with the large travel companies to bring customers there and really set South Africa on that map. One of the best experiences I've had in South Africa is being taken on a tour by the Coffee Bean Company, um, which offers township tours. And it was a, a visit around a couple of performance places around jazz, and then a couple of hours with a jazz musician in their own home. It was an extraordinary experience. Is that the kind of thing Tui clients are interested in as well, or am I just peculiar? Well, when we... When we get feedback from the customers in terms of what they're looking for their holiday, I think local flavour and authenticity are, are two elements that are becoming increasingly more important to them. And I think that, you know, that, that when people are on holiday, you know, they're looking for good news stories because they're looking to enjoy themselves. And if they feel that they can engage with the local community and their money is going towards projects within the local community and is benefiting the local community and they can see that firsthand that it's almost a virtuous circle. You know, so I think the, the, the days of the very homogenized um, excursion program where there is no interaction at all with local communities um, is becoming less and less popular because customers are increasingly understanding um, both the economic, the environment, the, the, the social impact that their holidays are having. And therefore, they want to actively engage and actively contribute towards minimizing that impact, but also understanding how they can help within the communities in a way that is structured, in a way that is rewarding for them. And I think that what you've just described in South Africa is absolutely something that would appeal to our customers and something we see within a lot of other destinations where our customers are really engaging. Um, an example um, that we've just recently um, been involved in in Turkey with a taste of fetier is we've been working with local suppliers and local farmers in order to supply um, local food within the buffets um, of our hotels. You know, not only does this does this cut out a lot of the bureaucracy and the economic uh, the economics of, of 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 sourcing food, but also it gives a direct link between our customers, our hoteliers, and the local communities. And interestingly, the next step is that the customers have asked that they can be actively engaged in visiting these places which are producing the food, meeting the farmers who are producing the food, discussing that. So actually it shows again that virtuous circle. If you introduce these, these often small um, elements to the holiday experience, then they can escalate and they can grow. And I think that the, the feedback we are continually getting from our customers is if they know that they are actively and positively impacting the destinations that they are visiting, then that's, that's really good for them. And in part, that's, of course, what generates the stories that they tell to their friends when they Absolutely. get home, isn't it? Which increases that word of mouth. Absolutely. Benefit of that Absolutely. Kind of tourism. Yeah. And, and again, I think that authenticity piece is really, really important. Um, that, that when they're visiting local communities, they're visiting real local communities, they're visiting real farmers, they're visiting people who live in the townships, you know, and, and they're understanding more about their life. And I think that's really important, that authenticity piece.